Chris is getting the stuff for the dinghy ready and Zoe is terrified that she's going to be left here all alone. You're going to go Zoe, don't worry. You're coming with. So we took a little dinghy ride over to this little beach uh, just outside the channel and we're gonna hang out and watch the sunset. Here we're gonna throw the stick with Zoe and we're gonna do some drone footage. Heck yeah. Get your stick. Get your stick, go get it. Get it. Pretty strong piece of wood. Finally find a stick, so we yeah. Good job. Those are royal turns. Royal turns? Yeah. Shaping up to be a beautiful sunset. It's gonna be a beaut, Clark. Come on, Zoe. Oh, that's hot. Zoe left her some stick. Yeah. We're chopped liver when it comes to sticks. Favorite thing in the whole world, huh? Sit. Lay down. Roll over. Don't talk Don't back. Don't talk back. Lay down. Roll over. Roll over. Lay down. Roll over. Good girl. That's the speed roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Good, Good girl. girl. One more time. Lay over. Lay down. Roll over. <laughs> hey, mud butt. Babe, check it out. This is a lightning whelk. It's a Texas state shell. Lightning whelk? Yeah, it's kind of muddy and got barnacles and stuff, but over here it's really nice. Nights like these that make it all worth it. We've been working insane hours, both of us, off duty, second job, third job, trying to reach our monetary goals so we can leave and make the sailing life a full time reality. So, little moments like these. Give us a glimpse into the future, how it's gonna be even a hundred times better. Um, it reminds us that we are working towards something. We're trying to reach a goal and we're gonna get there. to the doctor's office. Uh, we anchored up last night by the jetties and we were gonna wake up early this morning and go for a swim and snorkel. But spear it did fish. spearfish, catch a bunch of fish. <coughs> but it did not go as planned. Um, I was over, had all my snorkel gear on. I was over on the jetties and Chris was taking the dinghy around to the other side of the jetties. And so I went over to meet him and um, the other side of the jetties was a lot rougher and really long story short, a big wave came and I got knocked around, slammed into a rock. So yeah. A, a barnacle sliced, sliced her side open. Yeah, I got my lat kind of sliced open. So we're really on the fence on whether or not it needs stitches. It's pretty deep. It's a little bit deep and it happened in the Gulf. So we're just gonna be safe and go see the doctor, see if I need any antibiotics or 
how I should be cleaning it, all that good stuff. Hopefully, I don't need stitches, but we shall see. That's right. I had to get stitches. They did an anchor stitch at the top of the cut and then an anchor stitch at the bottom of the cut and then he did like an internal stitch kind of brought the wound together all the way through to the top so I'll go back in 10 days and I'll get those anchor stitches out and then I'm assuming that the internal stitch will dissolve either that or I'll just have some string in my lat for the rest of my life he said it was a good idea that we came in because those uh, kinds of wounds on the jetties always get infected. Yeah, he gave me some pain pills and some antibiotics um, and some topical cream that I apply three times a day. So. Yeah, and also we had several cases of flesh eating people catching flesh eating bacteria this summer. So. Yeah, there's that. Either way, he was. Uh, it's like he was very happy that we came in because um, he says that this kind of wound gets infected very, very easily. So we're in the clear. We know it's going to heal nicely now. And he he said he did my stitches in a way that I shouldn't have too bad of a scar. And I was like, dang it. Today marks the one year anniversary. One year. <laughs> one year that we moved aboard SV someday. We've been living aboard officially for one year. And how do we celebrate? <laughs> we get stitches and spend the whole day in the doctor's office. Great fun. Is that a bad omen? Nah. I don't really believe in omens because I'm not superstitious, but I am a little, a little stitious. Just got back from the doctor's office where Ariel got all stitched up. Good as new. It looks a lot better, but it feels a lot worse than when I went there. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Zoe? She was trying to lick it earlier when it first happened. Yeah, she's trying to clean all these wounds. Lick? Blech! Say, Mama's dirty. I went and got my stitches out and turns out that the inner stitch does not dissolve. He cut the bottom anchor stitch and then just like pulled the stitch all the way out. So really glad that I did not try to take them out myself because I would not have done that. <laughs> I would have just like cut the top and the bottom and called it good. But yep, I got my, my battle scar. Getting hot in here, but my Lucy. I gotta go. She went body surfing across the jetty rocks. So there's that. That's so good. <laughs>